You know, obviously we've seen so many new tools come out in the past five or six years, but the reality is that you've got to look at it from two different perspectives. On the one end, it enables people to produce higher quality in terms of technical quality content, uh, whether it's more stabilized content with things like the Movi, whether it's uh, sharper, better images with higher resolution cameras. And that's great because it removes those kind of what I call artificial technical barriers. And it evens the playing field a little bit um, to allowing someone that doesn't have to go to film school. When I grew up, you had to go to film school to shoot anything. Uh, whereas now, you know, you can buy, uh, you can frankly just use your iPhone and shoot a film, which has been done. I recommend people uh, learn how to shoot film with an iPhone because don't get all involved in the movies, the lenses, the cameras, the resolutions, the apertures. Just learn how to tell a good story with one lens on a camera, in this case a smartphone. And if you can do that and learn about pacing and position and how to move the camera and when to move the camera and shot size, you're going to be ahead of a lot of people. There's a lot of short-sightedness out there that people think that, well, now we can do everything cheaper, quicker, faster. Uh, and just because you can doesn't mean you should. And I think far too many uh, agencies and filmmakers are quick to throw out the past and say they can reinvent everything overnight. The reality is uh, it's a balance between the two.